So let's go into the main draft board and take a look at um, a couple features real quick. So I'm going to pick the draft I've already started setting up here. Um, so one of the, a few things are, um, you know, across the top here, it shows you what position drafted is for each team. So as you fill in the draft, it will show you that, um, you know, you, you're probably familiar with this, but it'll be quarterback, running back, uh, wide receiver, tight end. Um, and then the first line tells you that, you know, this was pick, pick number 12, and the ADP at the time was 12.3. Um, and then if it's off from ADP, so if you choose somebody ahead of um, their ADP or after, it'll kind of show you that here. Um, down here is, once again, your um, power ranking and your strength of schedule, which is the 14 and, and 16. Um, when you hover your mouse over things, sometimes they highlight things for you. Um, another thing that gets highlighted is who has um, relationships to the players. So, for example, when I come out here and get to Tony Pollard, if I hover my mouse over Tony Pollard, it will tell me that um, team number 11 has wide receiver one for Dallas. So that way you can quickly see um, you know, who, who has potential ownership of that player or, or related to that player. So you can see if somebody might try to stack them if, if they're getting close to that position. Um, so yeah, uh, the ADP only shows at first, uh, at the top, and then the ADP will um, disappear in favor of where the player was actually drafted. So if I come out here and say, oh, I'm gonna draft Terry McLaurin next, it'll say, oh, well, I just picked him 30 p picks um, at before ADP. So generally not such a great idea. Um, and then over here, you can see who's been drafted um, in the thing and if you make a mistake you can hit undo and that'll take him and put him back to where he was on the board so you know once again this will let me do this pretty quickly another thing i can do is i can draft players by name so i can come in here and say patrick mahomes um, and enter it that way you can also type in last name first you can do olave uh, and then it'll select chris lobby next um, so yeah, and then, you know, once again, this is a drafters mini, so there's no playoffs. So um, the, the playoff strength of schedules are not populated here. So if I create a new draft, like let's say I wanted to do uh, Best Ball Mania, um, we'll just put in anything, and then we'll say we're pick number two, and we get let's draft. So now, uh, because it's now Best Ball Mania, um, the 15 and 16, and 17 um, schedules now show. And it'll also let you see who the player is, or I'm sorry, what teams are related to that player. So Minnesota plays Cincinnati and Detroit in weeks 15 and 16, and they play against Green Bay in week 17. So you have the ability to quickly see those. Um, when you pick a player, um, so Justin Jefferson, now he has relationship against Cincinnati um, and then also against Detroit. So. Uh, when I make a pick, so this is now my pick, um, Justin Jefferson was there, but when Jamar Chase gets picked, now it says Minnesota and Pittsburgh. So anytime you have a Pittsburgh player, it will highlight um, the fact that you have a player related to week 15. And then um, in week uh, 16 is Kansas City. So all Kansas City players will obviously show that box as well for week 17. So, uh, and then also, um, Jamar Chase has a relationship with T. Higgins, so it also highlights those players. So you can quickly see, without having to think about it, um, who you own and what your relationships are. If the box is highlighted in red, then it's a um, non-quarterback related relationship. And if the box is in black, it means that you're, you have that quarterback. So for example, if I hit undo here and I drafted Patrick Mahomes second, then it'll have Travis Kelsey highlighted in black here. Um, or dark blue, whatever color this is, maybe purple. Um, but it, it, it's a different color than, than your non-quarterback related players. So you know that you have the quarterback related to that player as you get further and further down the draft board. So you can scroll up and down the draft board using these buttons here, um, you know, if you need to. So there, there's another set of them on the right-hand side because as you get further down here, sometimes you want to shift the board um, 
as you will. You can also come up here and type in that I'm going to week uh, um, round one, and it'll move you up to round one if you want. Um, so another feature is when I select a quarterback, so I've selected Patrick Mahomes, um, I can then see the <clears throat> players that I could potentially stack with Patrick Mahomes uh, and what round they'll be available in, as well as how far off from that round that player will be. So Travis Kelsey's in round one, proximity three. Um, Canarius Tony is four picks off of my, my pick in round seven. So if we scroll down to round seven, and this is not um, super um, accurate by box, it's based off of ADP number. So um, my pick um, would be here in round seven. And then, you know, once again, it's, you know, technically four picks away because 78.1, I guess this is like pick 74, or pick 75. Um, so it's not like super perfect accurate as far as number of boxes, but it gives you a pretty good idea of how far off players are. So when you see a lot of players close to proximity, it means that they will probably be available for you um, when it's your turn. Um, whereas if somebody's like 14 or 16 or 19 spots, you're probably gonna have to reach for them or they're gonna have to fall down the board to be able to, to, be able to pick them. So we'll, we'll have other videos on more features here.